Welcome to Mr. Woods Teaches. I'm Fred Woods, ready to teach. Hi fellow mathematicians, welcome to Mr. Woods Teaches. Today we're going to be working on measurement vocabulary. Plus, we're going to do a few practice problems at the end here. So measurement vocabulary. Measurement, a number that shows the size or amount of something. This can be geometrical measures such as distance, length, area, and volume. Additionally, it can be time or temperature. Last, it can be units to calculate a standard measure here. And then there's the U.S. system. And I put that up there as U.S. system because imperial system is, is a little bit different. You know, there's the U.S. imperial system. I didn't want it to be confusing, so I'm going to go with U.S. system. And that's a unit system which is popular in the United States, of course. It has the foot, yard, mile, cup pint, quart, and gallon are all those U.S. units. Then there's the metric system. Just a little bit of, about the metric system. The metric system in the United States is being used for mostly for scientific and or engineering applications because it has to be compatible with other countries a lot of the times for science and, and engineering. Metric system, the most common system of units which is widely used in lots of the countries around the world. Popular metric units include meters, kilograms, liters, and more. Distance and length. So distance they're, and length, they're related, but they have different meanings. So distance is how far apart objects are, such as two cities or two points. Length is the measure of something, such as a line segment of the dimensions of a room. I have time here because it is another way to measure, okay? We're not going to get into it during this video other than just this here. So time is measured in hours, minutes, and seconds. There are 60 minutes in one hour, there are 60 seconds in one minute, and 3,600 seconds in an hour. Then there's volume, which is the amount of space an object takes up. And then capacity, the amount that an object can hold. Okay, we're going to start here with U.S. measurement for the customer units of length. So we have one foot is equal to 12 inches, one yard is three feet, and then one yard is equal to 36 inches. You see how that is? It's three feet, so three times 12 is 36. And then one mile is equal to 1,760 yards. Notice how I have my units of measurement abbreviated. So inches is IN, foot is FT, yard is YD, and mile is MI. Then we go on to the metric system. So we have a base 10 system. And it's one kilometer is equal to 1,000 meters. One meter is equal to 100 centimeters. And one centimeter is equal to 10 millimeters. And there's that mm for millimeters, cm for centimeters, and m for meters. And over here, km for kilometers. So I want to use customary units to estimate length or distance. In the U.S. customary system of measurement, the most common units of distance are inches, feet, yards, and miles. Let's take a look at this. So how big are customary units of distance? The length of a quarter, so a 25 cent piece there, is about one inch or 2.5 centimeters. The length of a man's shoe is about one foot or 30.5 centimeters, which is approximately a third of a meter. Now think about this, when I want to find out how large of a room is, I'll go heel to toe across the room and I'll say, oh, okay, I stepped about, uh, let's say 15 steps, you know, heel to toe, that's the room is approximately 15 feet wide. If I want to get a, a more precise measurement, I'd use a tape measure or a yardstick or something that I have a known weight that is accurate. Then the length of a guitar or a baseball bat is one yard or 91 centimeters, which is about one meter. It's just a little bit under one meter. The length of a runway at a large airport is about one mile or 1.6 kilometers, which is also approximately 1,600 meters. Let's look at the customer unit of weight. So U.S. weights we have over here, and it's at one pound is equal to 16 ounces. One ton is equal to 2,000 pounds. If I want to find out how many ounces are in a ton, I would say it's 2,000 times 16, 
which is 32,000 ounces. And then we have our standard weights here for metric weight, and one kilogram is 1,000 grams. I want to get into a little bit here, mass versus weight. Weight and mass can often be referred to as the same, but there are differences between them. Mass is the overall size of an object, whereas the weight of an object depends on how much force from gravity is acting on it, which can change. When I say that, it, it can change here. You know, We have it on Earth here, a pound is a pound. But if I take this lead weight, let's say it's weighs a pound here on Earth, and I take it up to the moon, its weight will be different because the force of gravity is much less on the moon than it is here on Earth. Let's move on to, we're going to use customary units to estimate weight. In the U.S., customary system of weight, the most common units of weights are pounds and ounces. How big are customary units of weight? Well, the weight of a pencil, just your standard pencil that you get, well, say from Mr. Woods in my classroom, is going to be about one ounce or 28 grams. The weight of a loaf of bread is about one pound or 500 grams or half of a kilogram. The weight of a car is about one ton. That's a small car nowadays. Or 910 kilograms or 0 0.9 metric tons. Here we have customary units of volume. Liquid volume, the measure of the space a liquid occupies. Here in the U.S. system, we have this here where it says one cup is equal to eight fluid ounces, and we can abbreviate it as eight fluid OZ or FLOZ. One pint or one PT is equal to two cups. One quart is equal to two pints, which is equal to four cups. And four quarts is equal to one gallon. My colleague created the Gallon Man. Let's take a look real quick at the Gallon Man. I like the gallon man because it just brings everything together. First, we talk about capacity. It says, ask how much can it hold? So we have the gallon man. Here's his ear and such. This could be his mouth and he has four eyes, but that's okay. But one gallon, that's the red. That's in the totally encompassing. I have four quarts, so I have these one, two, three, four black cues, eight pints, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight blue peas for pints, 16 cups. So right here I can see two, four, six, eight, 10, 12, 14, 16. That's the C for cups in green. And there's eight fluid ounces is equal to one cup. So therefore, there are 128 fluid ounces in one gallon. I like that graphic, but let's get back. Use customary units to estimate volume. In the U.S. customary system of volume, the most common units of volumes are fluid ounces, cups, pints, quarts, and gallons. How big are customary units of volume? Well, the volume of one ounce is, again, it's about 30 milliliters or three hundredths of a liter. The volume of one cup is eight ounces or approximately 240 milliliters or 0 0.24 liters, which is approximately one fourth of a liter. The volume of a gallon is 128 ounces or 3.8 liters. Many times when I'm doing estimation and I, and I have to do it in liters, I'll say, well, I know that's approximately five gallons, so I'll say it's about 20 liters because 5 times 4 is 20 and I say 40 because 3.8 is if you round up is going to be 4 liters. Let's practice. Let's take a look at this problem here. Xavier has 4 feet of kite string. He needs 50 inches of string for the perimeter of kites he's making. How can he determine if he has enough string to make a kite? Since 1 foot is 12 times as long as one inch, you can write feet as inches by multiplying the number of feet by 12. Let's take a look. Here's our table. We have feet and inches. So we know that one foot is equal to 12 inches. So that means two is 24 because I'm just adding 12 more and I just keep on adding 12 more here. Three times 12 is 36. 4 times 12 is 48, 
and 5 times 12 is 60. And notice it's just 12, and I add 12 more, and then I add 12 more, and then I add 12 more, and then I add 12 more. So there we go. So I know that uh, 5 is 60 inches, so 5 feet is 60 inches. So 4 feet, I'm going to put this down here in inches. So 4 feet, I'm going to look here, that's 48 inches, 48. And I'm going to put the I in after that, for the, so I know my units. And then 50 here, 50 inches. Because I'm going to compare, I'm comparing this 4 feet, which is 48 inches, to 50 inches. I can't, I mean, I could say, you know, 4 feet and 50 inches, and I can do the calculations in my head, but we want to try to compare the same units, so inches to inches. So 48 inches, is it less than, greater than, or equal to 50? Well, it's definitely less than because I have to have two more inches to make 50. Let's take a look down here. Xavier has four feet of kite string. He needs 50 inches of kite string. Four feet is less than, so I'm going to say less than, or I could just write less. So Z Xavier does not, let's just write this out, D-O-E-S does not have enough string to make a kite. He needs two more inches. Let's continue our practice. Lola needs five pounds of coconut to make coconut cream pies for the school festival. She has 90 ounces of coconut. How can she determine if she has enough coconut to make the pies? Since one pound is equal to 16 ounces, you can write pounds as ounces by, and again, it's going to be multiplying, so M-U-L, I'm just going to I'm not going to write the whole thing out, but multiplying the number of pounds by 16. Okay, that's what it's given here. Is it 16? One pound is equal to 16 ounces. So if I have two pounds, I'll just multiply 2 times 16. Let's do that here. So 1 times 16 is equal to 16 ounces. 2 times 16. It's just 16 plus 16, so that's going to be 32. 3 times 16. Notice the pattern, so it's 1, 2, 3, and whatever it is, times 16. So I'm adding another 16 here, and that's going to be 48. And then 4 times 16, well, I can sit here and add, try to add 16, but I know that 2 times 32 is going to be, so 2 times 2 pounds is 4 pounds. So therefore, 32 plus 32 is 64. And then 5 times 16 is going to be another 16 here. Well, that's pretty easy. That's going to, I'm going to have, uh, let's see, I'm going to have another 10 here, and I already have uh, 10 from the 16. So it's 2 plus 6 is 80. 80 ounces. Let's compare 90 ounces and 50, and I'm sorry, and 5 pounds, so 90 ounces, so let's just put that down here, 90 ounces, notice how I keep that unit, the unit of measure, 5 pounds is equal to 80 ounces, 80 ounces, and I'm going to compare it, so is it less than, greater than, or equal to, so 90 is greater than, 80 ounces. Now to final this out, Lola has 90 ounces of coconut. She needs 5 pounds of coconut. 90 ounces is greater than 5 pounds. So Lola does have enough coconut to make the pies because she has more than enough here. She has she needs 80 total, but she has 90 on hand, so she's going to have 10 ounces left over. Sophia and Ava need to make three gallons of fruit punch for the class party. They have a powder mix that makes 350 fluid ounces of punch. How can they decide if they have enough powder mix? Since one gallon is equal to 16 cups and one cup is equal to 8 ounces, you can multiply the number of cups by fluid ounces. So, one gallon is equal to how many fluid ounces? Well, we have to go over here 
and we say 8 times 16. Remember, because 16 cups, when we look at the gallon man, 16 cups, uh, and one cup is equal to 8 ounces. So eight ti 6 times 8 is 48, right? So I have 8 here. 8 times 1 is 8. All right, so that makes it 8 tens plus 4 tens, so 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. So I have 128 fluid ounces. 128 fluid ounces. Let's compare what we have. But bef before we can do that, we have to figure this out here. So 1 gallon is equal to 128 fluid ounces, right? Two gallons is, I'm going to double that. That's going to be 256, right? And then three gallons, it's going to be another eight there. So six, eight, there's going to be four, seven, eight. So I have 384 ounces, right? So is that more than enough? Well, let's take a look. So I have 350 fluid ounces, so I'm going to do 350 fluid ounces. And I have over here for 3 gallons makes 384 fluid ounces. Is 350 greater than or less than or equal to? 384. So if 350 is less than 384 fluid ounces. Hmm. The girls have enough mix to make 350 ounces. So they need to make three gallons of punch. But three gallons, oh no. Three gallons is more. So 350 ounces is less than. And they do not. They don't. Let's just say don't. have enough mix to make three gallons of punch but they can make two gallons of there you go that's the plus side just want to say thank you for watching and please remember like share and subscribe until next time have a great day